Welcome to the course. This course is part one of a two part series exploring the analytical modeling of plate and shell structures. In this first part, we're going to be analyzing 2D plates. By the end of this course, you should have a really good understanding of how to analytically model circular and rectangular plate structures. So there'll be no finite elements or numerical approaches here, just closed form solutions. So that raises the question, why bother uh, focusing on the analytical modeling of plate and shell structures when there's so many finite element solvers at our fingertips? Well, the answer is pretty straightforward. If you want to deploy finite element analysis with confidence, you really should understand the fundamental behavior first. And that's where this course comes in. So although our analytical methods can only really be deployed on relatively simple structures, or they can only practically be deployed on relatively simple structures, uh, they give us a baseline level of understanding so that we can use finite element models with much more confidence. And they give us uh, the ability to interrogate the output from those finite element analysis models um, in a little bit more detail. Now, in addition to understanding the, uh, the fundamentals of plate behavior, you're also going to walk away from this course with a better understanding of, more generally speaking, how we go about developing analytical models and governing differential equations that describe fundamental mechanical behavior. You're also going to have a couple of additional tools and techniques that you can use to unlock tricky maths problems using Python. Now, if you have any questions as you work through the course, feel free to post them in the uh, in the discussion topic associated with each lesson. Every lesson in the course, like every lesson in any degree tutors course, has a dedicated discussion topic on the degree tutors community forum. So if you have questions, go ahead and post them there and either me or one of the other learners taking the course will respond to you. Um, and uh, and give you some support. But uh, if you are going to leave a, a question there and your question relates to a specific part of a lesson, do make sure and leave a timestamp that helps me respond as efficiently as possible. So in the next section of the course, we are going to start off by introducing plate and shell structures. Although this course focuses primarily on rectangular and circular plates, uh, we're also going to do or cover some of the introductory material around shell structures as well. Now we'll leave that to one side um, and return to it in part two, which will be the next course following this course. But we'll cover it um, in this introductory section anyway. So we're going to go over some of the key uh, assumptions that apply to everything that we talk about in this course. We look at limiting assumptions and um, cover off some of the uh, basic terminology that we're going to need to be familiar with as we move through the course. We'll also very briefly touch on um, a little bit of historical context to give a bit of a, a better, I suppose, yeah, a better context on where shell structures in particular fit into the sort of evolution of the built environment all the way back to uh, the Pantheon in Rome some 2000 years ago. In section three, we're going to move on to the analysis of circular plates. Now, circular plates are a great starting point for us because they give us a relatively simple structure to uh, develop our first mechanical model or to base our first mechanical model on. Now, this section can be considered as two halves, really. The first half, or in the first half, we're going to focus on uh, building or developing, or I suppose you'd say deriving, our governing differential equation for plate bending. That's going to be the, the, the focus early on. And we're going to build that up step by step, right from the very basics of, uh, of, of, of essentially understanding how the plate deforms under load, and then sort of following that thread or that line of thought all the way up until we have a governing differential equation. Uh, in the second half of the course, we're going to then focus on um, using that governing differential equation to, uh, to solve for plate behavior through a series of analysis case studies. Now, in this section, we're going to make extensive use of Python and in particular SymPy. What you'll, what you'll realize pretty early on is we get into some relatively heavy symbolic mathematics as we start to move through the analysis of plates. Now, far from being a stumbling block or a barrier, um, we're going to uh, we're going to deploy um, tools essentially to make sure that we don't get bogged down in the maths. And then one main tool that we're going to uh, deploy is called SymPy. So we will use that to do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of um, solving the differential equation, rearranging equations and the like. Um, now it's not, there's no sort of 
cheating. It's not cheating to use these tools. I mean, conceptually, we will understand what it is we are trying to achieve with various mathematical operations. Um, and that's the key. That's the, the really important point. Um, after that, we're just making use of tools um, that will lower the uh, lower the degree of pain when, that you might experience uh, when it comes to actually processing some of the mathematical operations. Um, so that's probably one of the big takeaways, actually, in addition to understanding plate behavior. It's one of the big takeaways of this course is the uh, the, the ability and then practicing using tools like this um, that you can then sort of use on your other engineering analyses. Now, in the final section of part one here of this course, we're going to move on to rectangular plates. Now, just as in section three, we're going to spend the first part of this section building up or deriving our governing differential equation for plate bending. And again, it will follow much the same uh, pathway, if you like, as uh, as we followed in section three for circular plates. We're going to start off with a, a fundamental understanding of the geometry or the deformed geometry of an infinitesimal plate element. And then we'll we'll move from an understanding of the geometry to an expression of the strains that that element experiences. We'll then jump from strains to stresses via Hooke's law. Uh, we'll evaluate the stress resultants, uh, which are going to be shear forces and moments. And once we have those, we can build out our equilibrium equations, which will ultimately lead to a governing differential equation for plate behavior. So that's the first part of this section on rectangular plates. From there, we're going to move on and look at a really clever solution to that governing differential equation, which is called Navier's solution, uh, which was uh, proposed in 1820 by Claude Louis Navier. Um, now that is a, a really neat little solution because it makes use of uh, Fourier the Fourier transform or the Fourier series, I should say, it makes use of the Fourier series um, to construct a essentially a solution for that governing differential equation. So we're going to spend the, the, the latter part of that section of the final section in the course focusing on uh, some analysis case studies again, which deploy a Navier solution for plate bending. So now that you have a good overview of what we're going to cover in the course, we can move on and start talking about plate and shell structures in the next lesson.